Hello, Nintendo Chit Chatters. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. Welcome to episode two of Ease 8 coming to the Nintendo Switch on June 26th. Shout outs to NAS America for providing me a copy of the game. Last episode, we finished up the prologue, and today we're diving further into chapter one. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. Yeah, so we finished up the prologue. Uh, we were on this passenger ship. Uh, we were doing some patrol duties, looking for suspicious people. And then all of a sudden, the ship was attacked by these giant tentacles. So we actually had some combat last episode, but the ship got torn apart and we were sent flying. Not just me, but my crew members and passengers. And here we are all alone by ourselves on this island. So there's a little crab there. Ooh, I see a sword. Hmm. Among the debris uh, washed ashore, you find an old sword sticking out of the sand. Will you take it? Yeah. We've equipped it and obtained it. All right. Perfect. Uh. <laughs> right into combat. Okay. We learned our combat techniques a little bit earlier, so we should be okay. Gonna evade and jump and whatever else. Sonic slide sparked. Nice. Some bones. They left some bones behind these wolves. And all their new skill during the fight. Skill cost. Uh, skills cost SP. Skill points to use. Sign up from the camp menu. R plus A, B, X, Y. Okay. Attacks generate SP. A charge attack generates more SP. So normal attack, stop attacking to charge your power. Then press A to perform a charge attack and gain massive SP. Hold R to use skills assigned to A, B, X, Y. Okay. That's cool. Be on your guard here. Set your skills just to be safe. So camp menu, here we are. Skills. And the sonic slide. So R and then A. Okay, for a doll. Cool. You've been adrift so long that exhaustion is starting to set in. It's dangerous to stay here. Continue on ahead. All right, I'm gonna find some shelter or something. Oh, nice! Look at that skill finish. It's over here. In this log. A huge fallen tree blocks your path. You can't move it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go up here. Don't forget to lock on to enemies. Waterfall. What's over there? You gonna wash up? Be careful of the water. Adol found a clear water stream and drank from it to quench his parched throat. With each sip he took, Adol's exhaustion slowly washed away. So you can stand still while in the field to slowly recover HP. Does not work inside dungeons, so bring medicine. Okay. That's very important. Let's continue on ahead. Auto save. Oh, he's throwing boulders. It's like a shrew or a mole or something.
That's funny. Is there a flower over here some sort? Small leaf. I'll take it. Is there like an entrance or something over here? Is where he came from, yeah? I think so. Okay, that's where we uh that's where we came from, I'm sure, right? Yeah, pretty sure. Yep. Lost my um sense of direction there for a moment. Let's go up here. Anything over here? Okay. Collecting these bones and such, thin hide. Some more bones. Ooh, some fruit on this tree. Can we get that or not? Go to the menu here. Items. All right, cool. There we go. Down here? I don't know. I think this way, I keep going straight up here. Pretty sure. Can we jump down there? I don't know. Okay, so we came up here. We found somebody. <gasps> Who's there? Whoa. She's a better sword than us, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoa, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I saved it. I was just testing um, video capture and screenshots, by the way, so you can do that. That's cool. My word. My 
must men be so must we found somebody disgusting tactless and so domineering too yes just like him I want that sword it's still sticking there can we switch it out She was bathing. What book do you have there? Laxia. We should introduce ourselves at least. My name is Laxia of House Roswell, a noble family of Garden. The ship I was traveling on sank, and I was cast adrift until I came ashore here. Hmm. Now, who are you? Judging from your guard, you must have been a sailor aboard the Lombardia. She knows her stuff. Adult I'm an adventurer. Kristen, you say you're an adventurer? Yes. Don't try to fool me. I narrowly escaped that disaster with my life. As a member of the Lombardia's crew, you need to tell me exactly what happened out there. Well. Tell her about it. Might as well tell her. You said your name was Adol, correct? Maybe she knows something about these tentacles, so. So, you're telling me that these giant tentacles attacked and destroyed our ship? Yes. Do you expect me to believe such a bizarre story? Yes. How big a fool do you think me to be? Oh boy. Way to ruin a good moment. These bats. Beast? When did they Give this to me? No need. I don't need to be protected by the likes of you. Yeah, she'll get her sword back, I'm sure. Uh, That's the one she Lexia threw. Von Roswell. She'll enter the fray. I don't know. She's a nicer weapon than you, that's for sure. All enemies have a damage type that they are weak against. So Dole's damage type is Slash. Laxia's is Pierce. Slash is good against uh, soft enemies. Pierce is good against aerial enemies. So she'll be good against these bats. Strike damage is effective against armored en uh, uh, enemies. So. Mismatch typing results in lower damage. All right, so slash soft, piercing aerial, strike for armor. Okay. Furthermore, our rare item drops will increase. Enemy takes increased damage from all damage types. You press the minus button, I think, to change your behavior as the situation demands. Offensive or defensive? Prioritize offense while sticking to the player. Stop attacking prior to evading enemy attacks. That's cool. We can also switch. Okay, quickly push minus and just changes it automatically from offense to defense. That's cool. I took you for an ordinary sailor, but your swordsmanship is rather impressive. Clearly, it was no accident that you managed to parry my attack. You're not too shabby either. Your flattery won't work for me, or on me. Based on your current situation, this area must be the territory of those beasts. Let us relocate somewhere safer. Mr. Christian. Huh? I'm just speaking common sense. 
Let's get one thing straight. Given the circumstances, a temporary alliance is our only rational course of action. But I don't trust you. No, one, not one bit. Do we understand each other? Good. Then stop wasting time and get moving. Alright, Laxia joins the party! People entry of the journal is now available. And Doll's journal can be accessed via the camp menu. It contains a wide variety of information. Story, voice, monster, meals, materials, quests, people, fishing. Awesome. So we push Y to change. That's pretty cool. And offense and defense. I'm going to be offensive for now. My turn now. Okay. Let's go, Laxia. So not there. Why is she making noise? around here. Laxia von Roswell. Cool name. Seems a little odd. Let's search the area and see if anyone else is here. Sounds good to me. Oh, she left our party right now, so we have to fight alone. So she's searching. What is this? A giant crystal stands before you. Its presence seems to soothe your body and soul. Is that a healing stone? Cool. Approaching a crystal fully restores HP and recovers negative status. She is. She's looking over the. Uh... Going to talk to her. There's not but ocean as far as the eye can see. Where on earth are we? Hopefully there is a settlement nearby. Wow. Wide ocean, for sure. It's pretty. What a gorgeous view. responsible for this we actually saved uh, the ship for a little while with the uh, attack on the one tentacle so all right don't want to fall what has scared me so we can go over here possibly Maybe we can go in the cave later. A beautiful stream is flowing through here. This looks like a perfect spot to quench your thirst, but there's no sign that anyone else has been here. Not at all. A large empty plot of land stretches over the lope slope. There's no reason to go that way. Okay then.
Aha. Uh -huh. So I should have checked the map earlier? That's okay. Over here. Down this way. What's this here? It's not an old crate. Some drifted washed ashore. Hey, red meat. Take that. We got two of those berries and some meat. I'll take that for sure. I've searched the area, but there doesn't seem to appear to be anyone else here. I did notice, however, that this area is surrounded on all sides by rocky cliffs. It's a bit cramped. Perhaps, but above all else, this place is safe. Given the absence of beasts, this may prove to be a suitable location for a base, uh, base camp. Good observation. My word. <clears throat> Just now, uh, I thought I saw someone walking by over there. Uh, in the cave area now? Let's find out who it was. Indeed, whether it's a castaway or a native, we stand to learn something either way. Let's pursue them at once. Off we go. I didn't see anybody, but she did, so... In the cave now? Here we go. Calm Inlet. Here, just two, one that's split up, looks like. That's about it. I don't see anybody else here. Aha. Uh -huh. Dungeon. Uh oh. So this cave has a little section that expands. This cave runs deeper than I expected. Me too. Are you scared? Of course not. Who do you think you're talking to? Let's just hurry up and keep moving. All right, guys. Water drop cave. We're gonna save our game here. And come back next episode and dive further into, I think, the first dungeon of the game. Make sure you guys blast the like button, comment below, and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for NintendoChitChat.com. We'll see you guys back here next time.